position hands, one variable and one degree. Therefore, it is called equation in one variable. Now, secondly, linear equation in one variable. Because degree is one, therefore it is linear. Variable is one, therefore linear equation in one variable. Now, if you take like this, In this situation, variables are 2, x and y. Its degree is also 1. Therefore, it is called linear equation with two variables. Here, one variable, therefore, linear equation in one variable. Here, two variables, therefore, it is linear equation in two variables. ax plus by plus c equal to 0. It is a general form of linear equation in two variables where a b c are real numbers that is a b c belong to r also a is not equal to zero and b is not equal to zero this is called general form of linear equation in two variables if you take 2x plus 3y equal to 12, 4x minus y equal to 10. If you take two equations at a time, then these two equations are called Simultaneous equation. These two equations are called simultaneous equations. <coughs> now, how we solve this? That before that, you can identify whether the following are simultaneous equation or not. For example, x is to power two plus five x plus one equal to zero. root 2x plus root 3y plus 9 equal to 0. Now see here, here variable is 1, also degree is 2. When the variable is not 2, degree is not 1, therefore it is not a <coughs> linear equation in two variables. <coughs> now here, degree is 1, Degree is 1, variables are 2, therefore it is a linear equation in two variables. Now next, for example this, x, 0x plus 3y plus 5 equal to 0. It is a linear equation in two variables? No, why? a is 0, therefore it is not a linear equation. Similarly, 5x plus 0y minus 8 equal to 0. Here also, b equal to 0, therefore it is not a linear equation. <coughs> x square plus y square plus 8 equal to 0. Here also, variables are 2. If two variables are there, but degree is not one, therefore it is not a linear equation in two variables. Now, this also. 1 by 2x plus 3 by 5y plus 2 by 9 equal to 0. <coughs> it is a linear equation in two variables. Yes, it is a linear equation because variables are 2, each degree is 1, therefore it is a linear equation. Now, if like this, 2 upon x, 3 upon y, plus 2 upon 8, or 2 upon 7, equal to 0. It is a linear equation, it is not a linear equation. Why? Degree is minus 1. Degree is minus 1, therefore it is not a linear equation. But 
this can be converted into linear equation by substituting 1 upon x equal to something. Therefore, it can be converted into linear equation in two variables. Now we see how we solve the equations. Suppose if you are given this, <coughs> if we have these two equations, how solve the simultaneous equation? There are three methods. Equating first method, equating coefficient. Second method. Graphical. Second method is graphical. And third method is Kramer's rule. There are three methods to solve the simultaneous equation. We see first example, first method, the equating coefficient method. If you take these two, 2x plus 3y equal to 12, equation 1, 4x minus y equal to 10, equation 2. Now, see the coefficients. Here, coefficients are 2, 4, not equal. Here, coefficients are 3, 1, not equal. Then, we have to try equal. Then, which is easy? This is our easy. Therefore, you multiply by multiply equation 2 by 3. We get twelve x minus 3y equal to 30 equation 3. Now this first equation and third equation. Add these two. You get 2x plus 3y equal to 12. 12x minus 3y equal to 30. 2x plus 12x, 14x, this is cancelled equal to 42 x equal to 3 put x equal to 3 in equation 1 this equation what you get 2 into 3 plus 3y equal to 12 6 plus 3y equal to 12 3y equal to 12 minus 6, 3y equal to 6. Now you come here, y equal to 2. The answer, x equal to 3, y equal to 2. You can write this like also, like this, x, y, 3, 2. Now, take another example. <coughs> 5x plus 4y equal to 9. to 
वाली जगह या थर्टी फोर्टीन एक्स इक्वल टू फोर्टीन यहाँ पर एक्स इक्वल टू वन अगेन पुट एक्स इक्वल टू वन इन इक्वेशन वन यू गेट आई एक्स प्लस फोर वन थर्टीन आई एक्स प्लस फोर इंटू वन इक्वल टू थर्टीन आई एक्स इक्वल टू थर्टीन माइनस फोर आई एक्स इक्वल टू यू गेट फोर वाई इक्वल टू थर्टीन माइनस फाइव फोर वाई इक्वल टू एट जिससे ना वाई बोलो तो नाउ आंसर एक्स बोलो वन वाई बोलो टू यू राइट लाइक दिस एक्स वाई वन Now next example, ninety nine x plus one zero one one equal to four ninety nine. One zero one x plus ninety nine y equal to five zero. Now this example we cannot solve by this method. It is very difficult. Because multiply by ninety nine, multiply by one zero one, it is difficult. But you see this example. It is a special type of example. Coefficient of x and y are interchange. Here ninety nine one zero one, here one zero one ninety nine. Therefore, this example has special method. This is the exercise we need. Equation one, equation two. First, we add one and two. Second time, second time, subtract one and two. You get example equation three and four, and then you can solve. Now add one and two. Ninety nine x one zero one y four nine nine. One zero one x ninety nine y five zero one. Add this, you get two hundred x. Two hundred y equal to zero zero one thousand. Divide by two hundred. You get x plus y equal to five. Equation one. Equation number three. Now subtract these two. Ninety nine x one zero one y four ninety nine one zero one x plus ninety nine y five zero one. Now draw the line taking space here because you have to change the sign. This is plus minus plus minus plus minus. Now ninety nine minus one zero one minus two x plus two y. Equal to minus two. Divide by two. You get minus x plus y minus one. This is four. Now add three and four. You get x plus y equal to five. Minus x plus y equal to minus one. X cancel. Two y equal to four. Y equal to two. Then similarly put the value of y in equation number three. You get x plus y equal to five. X plus two equal to five. X equal to five. Minus two x equal to three. Now answer x equal to three and y equal to two.